Good evening, Accident Advice Helpline. Hi, uh, I was wondering if I could make a claim for an accident I had a while ago. Oh, yes, I'll just put you through to claim. What is your name, please? Thanks, it's Walter. Thank you. Thanks. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. Hello, am I speaking to Walter? That's right, yeah. Hello, I just understand that you'd like to make a personal injury claim? That's correct. Okay, that's fine. Have you been in touch with us before? Is it the first time? No, in fact, I've never even heard of these kind of uh, accident helplines before. Um, oh, right. Because I'm fairly new to the UK, you see. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let me just open up a claim for you just a second. Sure. Is your first name Walter? Is that right? Yeah, my, my first name's Walter. And your surname? Marshall. Marshall. Is that two L's at the end? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And can I take a contact number, please? Sure. Just a sec. Yeah. Uh, okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. 079 yeah. 8033 yeah. 9326. Okay, so that's zero seven nine eight zero three three nine three two six. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, and do you have a home telephone number at all? Uh it's temp temporary at the moment. Uh kind okay. of undergoing trying to get a new number, you know. Okay. Are you calling from your mobile number? Yeah. Okay. Would you like us to call you back? Um oh, it's, it's no problem. I mean I'm on contract now, so Okay, so that's fine. Okay. Um, just a second. Um, how did you find our contact number? Was it through a newspaper or a magazine? I, I was searching around on the internet, uh, trying okay. to find a, a number in London. Oh, right, okay. So it was online. Okay. And were you using Google or what were you using? Yeah, Google. Yes, yeah? okay. That's fine. Okay, so just before we continue, there are two things that you need to know. Firstly, our unique service is completely hassle-free, which means yeah. that we take information over the phone and we do everything for you. Sure. So you don't have to visit any solicitors and no one visits your home. We do all the work for you. Right, and great. secondly, all of our customers benefit from a strict no-win, no-fee guarantee. So any costs involved is funded by your compensation award or by your panel solicitor, which means that you don't have to pay a penny towards the claim out of your own pocket. Okay? Awesome. And the way it works in most cases is quite simple. If our solicitors believe there's clear evidence to support your claim, they will negotiate with your other insurance company to get you the maximum compensation while legally entitled to a claim. Sure. So when did your accident happen? Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, around November 2010. Okay. So you, you don't have an exact date, is that right? Sorry? You don't have an exact date. Oh, uh, no, unfortunately. Okay, roughly what time of day did that happen? Uh, it was kind of the afternoon, maybe 2, 2, 3 p.m. Yeah, okay. And what sort of accident was it? Was it? Um, was it well, I was catching up with the TV. Um, do you know a show called EastEnders? Yeah. Uh, on the BBC. Um, well, I was catching up with with that, and uh, there was this one scene. Uh, do you know Barry Evans? Sure. <laughs> it might sound a bit bizarre, but uh, well, there was this one scene where he got kind of pushed off a cliff by uh, Janine, I think it was. Okay. And I've got vertigo myself, so it's kind of scary seeing these that kind of things. So I got up and uh, had a you know breath of fresh air, and as I was heading down the stairs, I kind of had this uh, paranormal vision of Barry Evans stumbling down my stairs. So. Seeing him stumble down those stairs in front of me kind of made me stumble down those stairs. Uh, and this resulted in me breaking three ribs. And I, I punctured my lung, too. And I got, uh, I was administered to the hospital. Okay. So I, I've got the reports and everything for you. Just a second. Sure. Okay, so... 
Okay, so you had a, a vision of falling down the stairs and then you actually fell down the stairs. Was there anything that caused you to fall? Um, well, it was kind of seeing Barry Evans stumble down those stairs. And it, it, I don't know, it was kind of, it kind of made me feel so dizzy, like he was actually there and I was him kind of thing. I was like Barry Evans. I, I can't under, I can't explain this so well, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I mean, the only thing is that when making a person, hello? Hi. Yeah, when making a personal injury claim, we normally go by where someone was at fault for the cause of your accident. Uh, so this kind of claim, so, could I anything mean, be done? I mean, um, unless there was something that caused you to fall, for example, there was something wrong with the stairs or sure. something like that, then there's a defect. We always need to look for a defect specifically. Right. If it is that it's a well, vision that you've had of falling down the stairs, I'm not sure where we can actually could, hold could, life. Could we kind of make something up and like kind of just, you know, make make it up as we go along kind of thing? What do you mean, make, could, it, make could, it up? You? Well, I don't think there was a fault with the stairs or anything, but I mean, if, if we kind of say there was, you know, just kind of make it up, lie, lie as we go along, would that work? Or would I need evidence to show those stairs were uh, at fault? Well, we can't do that because we, it's, we have to go by facts as to what's actually happened in order to hold somebody liable for an accident. Well, we can't just make up a story just to make, put it through the system. Well, how about something a bit more complicated, such as we could say the house is haunted, would that work? Or uh, is that just a bit far-fetched, I'm, I'm, if you like? I'm not, sure, I'm not exactly sure um, the, the reason as to why you're calling. You, have you suffered, a, you've suffered a personal injury, is that right? That, that's right, yeah. Which was caused by a vision that you had and you fell down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly, so I don't understand what you mean. Well, I was just hoping we could claim against the, the paranormal. Okay, could you stay on the line for me? Please? Sure, sure. Thank you. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. Hello, Walker. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, I mean, we, with your specific situation, I'm sorry, but we can't actually help you with that specific um, accident you uh, actually had. That's, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. Um, is there anyone you can point me to, or is there any uh, companies that could help with this kind of thing? Um, I, I wouldn't know. You you may have to contact Citizens Advice Bureau and right. stuff that with them, but we don't deal with that type of um Okay, okay, Sorry I understand. All right, well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.